What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. And today, something happened that just actually made me smile and laugh, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> we all know about trolls, internet trolls, how they can just know just their nameless, faceless entities that just go on people's web sites or some of those social media sites and just say things that are very insulting, you know, try to hurt your feelings and all that. You know, it's fine. Well, what most people don't know about me is that I love to joke. I love to tell jokes also. I love to crack jokes, tell jokes. I can take a joke. And I got sent a comment from a troll. And when I read it, I actually laughed. This person was trying, I don't know if it's a male or female, but this person was trying to insult me. But I actually laughed. I didn't laugh at, you know, him trying to insult me. I laughed at the words that he used to insult me. And when I when I laughed, I was like, this is actually, like, I actually said to myself, this is actually pretty good. Like, this insult is incorrect. But the way this person worded it, I liked it. It was actually pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going normally I don't give I don't I don't do this anymore. We not I will go, you know, I will go on full troll assassin mode. We all know what I could do when I when I wanna come at somebody's neck when when an assault, but this is what I'm not gonna do. I'm actually gonna give this person some shine. Um this was a comment sent to me eight minutes ago from this person is faceless. It, 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 it's just a regular um, green icon of a male. So I'm assuming it's a male. I'm assuming. And this person's name is Zeal Two O One Two. Well, Zeal Two Zero One. Okay. This was sent to me eight minutes ago. I'm gonna read this to you and just just listen to the words that he used. Like this, this actually is pretty good. This actually is a really good insult. Okay. Here we go. From Zeal Two O One. Give you some shine, Zeal Two O One. Giving you shine. Okay, this was from my um, my my famous video. Uh, why did I join Freemasonry? Anybody go on my page, Thomas Gallery? Is, is I did a video about uh, why did I join why did I, why I join the reason why I joined Freemasonry in the first place, right? And I got a whole bunch of views and a whole bunch of comments from that and all that stuff. Some positive, a lot negative, and all that stuff. So. And I would have thought that this it'd be over by now, but people still commenting, people still fighting the video, people still commenting on it, watching the video, commenting. Uh, some are, you know, some are, you know, commending me for it. Some a lot of people are trying to insult me and belittle me and all that stuff. But this one was pretty good. This is from Zeal Two Zero One. Let me read this to you. It says, "You can just see the doubt in his eyes. He wants people to give him confirmation." That it's okay, you can see in his eyes, he's terrified. Another one bites the dust, effing sellouts. Now, one thing I don't like about this message actually is he's butchering his sentences. It's, it's, it's a completely run-on sentence. Like I, I have a pet peeve about grammar. We you know, call them grammar Nazis. I have a pet peeve about misspellings and grammar and all that stuff and mis mispronunciation and misspelling of words and putting uh grammatical errors I, I i hate that so the way he he was he was good when he said you can just see the doubt in his eyes see that right there that should have been a complete sentence like it's, it's a complete run-on sentence that that right there that that kind of irks kind of kind of irks my nerves right there it should have just been you can just see the doubt in his eyes Either a period or exclamation mark. Okay, that's the end of it. That's a complete sentence. End of a sentence. Then he then he, then he will finish. He go and says he wants to. He wants people to give him confirmation that it's okay. That right there should be another sentence. That, that's another sentence right there. Okay. Then he says again, you can see in his eyes he's terrified. That right there is another sentence. But he did. He he does. He, but then he don't. He don't put no. He don't put no periods. No exclamation marks. Nothing. He don't put nothing that. Then he puts 
another, he put capital A, another one bites the dust. First of all, if you're going to quote a title or a lyric from a song, she put quotation marks. Okay? That's just that's giving the person credit, the who wrote the song. Okay? He says, effing sellouts. Okay. Barring all of the grammatical errors, bypassing all of that, okay, this was my response to him because my songs had to, had to it was actually a good it was actually a good statement, so I wanted to respond. I said, "I'm sorry for laughing at your comment because I really was laughing." Then I put in, I put in quotation marks because he's the one that wrote this, so I put in quotation marks. Open quote, no uh, beginning quote. You can just see the doubt in his eyes, in, in his in his eyes in quotation. You should actually write. I see. I see. Now I messed up. I messed up. You should actually write stories and read them on YouTube, or maybe have a podcast. I'm being serious. Your writing is very descriptive. To me, it was. Although I disagree with your comment, the wordplay is still good. Use it. Use it for your benefit next time. I was just simply saying that you know it. The time you take, the time you put into, into this, you can actually just, you know, you can really just actually put it to some constructive. <laughs> but I thought it was, I thought his message was actually pretty good. Like it, it's pretty pretty cool. Like the way his 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 description though, you you could see. The doubt in his eyes. That that actually kind of like he has a way with words. Whoever this person is has a way with words. And with me, I know trolls are trolls are nameless and faceless. They don't bother me. So when I actually can see something else, like like that's actually a good sentence. If this person were to take the time to focus his his or her writing skills into something productive and positive, they can be big. Because it was very descriptive, you know. You can see that you can see the doubt in his eyes, which means he has a way with words. This person has a way with words, and I wish they just put it into something more productive, you know. So, anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. It had me laughing, you know, the way he wrote that. It had me laughing. So maybe you know y'all y'all could see it and tell tell him tell this person to write you know write a story or something write write a story or write a book or something like that it's it's good words so you know don't use don't use your potential for something negative and pointless okay so anyway hope y'all enjoy that catch y'all later peace